were the were both the daughters of Lot with child by their father, and the firstborn bare a son, and called him Moab, where the Moabites descend from. So the Moabites descend from Lot and uh, uh, Moab. The same is the father of the Moabites unto this day, unto this day. And the younger, she also bare a son and called his name Ben-Ami. The same is the father of the children of Ammon unto this day, Ammon the Ammonites. Okay, so we see here clearly <laughs> the daughters chose to, to lay with their father as a way to continue the uh, the nations uh, and uh, the people. And uh, if the sons were there, I don't think that would have happened, right? In fact, they clearly stated, there is no man here to be with us as in the custom of, of, of people, men and women. So we should go and lay with our father. Clearly, we see almost almost really the entire picture, right? Uh, remembering that uh, when the earth was destroyed with Noah, and I, as I said, we would re make reference to that. God chose eight people then, right? And uh, those people continued on uh, mankind. And so we see here, almost again, an image, a type of, an example of God uh, finding a way to preserve the seed that he promised, right? Because again, to, you want to think about the earlier verses that said all the people were destroyed. All the inhabitants were destroyed. So they would have to have uh, taken this measure of, of going in with their father, going in to know him, to become pregnant by him, uh, to preserve the seed of the family. We see here so much information. How are we to respond? Is it possible that we, on the day that the Lord sends forth the angels with a trumpet call, will we choose to go with him, with the angels? Will we respond to the call? Will we leave? In enough time, will we? In other, you get the picture that you have uh, an opportunity, right, to go with the angels, to take them, take them by the hand as they take you by the hand, to respond to the trumpet call of the Lord, to leave Sodom and Gomorrah, to leave Babylon, to leave Egypt, to leave the sin, to leave the 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 deception, right, to leave the depravity and go with the Lord. Will you respond to the call of the trumpet? Will you take the angels by their hand and leave with them to the place that the Lord has prepared for you on that day? Are you willing to be taken? Are you willing to go to safety and in the arms of the Lord, in the protection? Or will you rather stay in the midst of the sin, as the sons chose to mock the prophet, to mock the angels, because remember the angels came and told Lot, and then Lot told the son. So now Lot told the sons, and the sons mocked him. Will you be among the mockers and the scoffers, or will you heed the word of the prophet? Will you heed the call of the trumpet? Or will you be going into safety and decide that, oh, that sinful place is better. I'm going to go back. I'm going to look back. Because remembering the Lord said also, don't go down into your houses. Don't go back to your houses. Don't flee when, when the time comes. Flee and go. Don't go back to get this or that. Don't go back to see this one or that one. Don't go here or there. So clearly there's a moment, there's a time when even at that point, you you could make that decision. Amen and amen. 
I hope this lesson has been um, a blessing to you. I pray that you are able to receive and understand what the Lord has laid before us. And I ask again that you would continue to share these Bible studies with those that you uh, are led of to share it with. And I thank you again for being a blessing to me, continuing to participate and continuing to um, you know, listen to the Bible studies as we have them continue to receive your um your your comments and questions if you want to respond in emails or uh, in any way other to reach out to me you know the way to do that and i hope that um you would continue to bless me with your presence as iron sharpens iron we will all get better and learn more and be stronger in this day when we need one another to build each other up in prayer in intercession, and uh, in encouragement. Amen. So may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in the Lord's sight. And may he make his face to shine upon you and give you his peace. Shalom.